Uh, so we're still on the back cavity here and we've just made up a custom template here uh, just so we can put a back plate cover on and the reason why we haven't gone with a complete square is because we've got the belly carved just here so we just had to uh, take off the corner there to give us this well it's not too bad looking a shape and then we'll cut out a nice piece of uh, black uh, plastic to go in as the back plate so we've got our router ready so we're just gonna do one pass and just go down a couple of mil in that shape just to give us that little recess for the back plate to go into. So we had to change our heart there and we decided to use some of this spruce that we used to block up the previous cavity instead of that black plastic. Um, so we just cut out the shape there and it fits uh, pretty much uh, perfectly and we're just going to sand the edges to make it a little smoother because we're going to paint this the same colour that we're painting the body so we'll just need a little bit of wiggle room for it to go in so it's not uh, the paint's not rubbing on the edges or anything like that so uh, we're going to do that and then we're going to move on to uh, drilling the hole for our barrel jack uh, into the cavity and we'll probably drill uh, an earth wire as well uh, a hole for the earth wire to pass through so we'll crack on with that now so that's our control cavity done and um, we put our screws in and that and um, it's not exactly flush so we're going to sand it down and um, when we're doing the final sanding of the whole body but that's that done and so what we'll move on to next is as we said we'll drill our hole for our barrel jack to go in so unfortunately we made a bit of an error, uh, we were drilling the hole for the barrel jack so we've had to come back and plug that and we have our actual hole just over here so I have to wait for this glue to dry and set up and make sure we can smooth out the whole area and then we'll come back and drill the actual hole for the uh, barrel jack. Okay so we've re-drilled the correct position for our barrel jack and we've filled in the old one and we've got some little dings and marks here where we were just making sure this went in so I'll be coming back to fill those and look after them when we're doing the final sanding. And we're into the control cavity here. So you can see our barrel jack sticking in now. We're sitting just literally a fraction just above our one of our potentiometers here. So it, everything is quite tight. We've just, just put everything in just as a mock-up to see and what's going to go where. Our capacitor will be going on the tone control in there somewhere. But it is going to be very tight. But we should be okay. And um, Once we shield this and all that, we should be alright. Um, but we'll have fun and games with that when it comes to the wiring. If there is going to be, and um, we've plenty of depth actually from the bottom of these all the way up to where the cavity is, so wires and stuff can run over the top if we don't have space in that. So we should be okay. If not, we'll have fun and games during the wiring process. So with that done, I'll just take this capacitor out and see that's where our controls are going to be. And what we're going to do now is we think. And we're just going to put all the parts on, just roughly, kind of see where everything goes. Uh, we're going to mount the pickups because we'll have to drill holes for the mounting screws. And we have to drill this hole here where we put our extra piece on for the bridge. And we'll have to drill our holes here for where the neck is going to connect. So uh, we're going to try and put everything together now and just kind of see can we get the guitar functioning. Then we'll take it all apart to do the finishing process. And so I forgot to film this, um, but we've just drilled through. Uh, in from our pickup cavity here into our control cavity so we can run all our wires for our pickup straight through and in there there is one this is the original one for when the controls were going over to the right hand side so we've just drilled through now so our wires can make it through to our left hand side and we're still thinking about what we're going to do for a, a grounding wire for our bridge and we think we might just run another wire through here somewhere and maybe put a little hole so uh, the wire won't be seen. Um.